This video will walk you through installing some additional software that you are going to need for your web design or web development class this semester at UMGC. If you're taking a web design course, you're going to need a text editor. I highly recommend Microsoft's Visual Studio Code. You can find it by doing a search for VS Code and it should bring you straight to the Microsoft website for Visual Studio Code. Keep in mind this is not mandatory. You may use any text editor you like for writing your HTML, CSS, and or JavaScript files. However, this is one that I highly recommend as I know it's used commonly throughout open source development in the industry right now, and it has a lot of plugins that you'll be able to use for different web application development projects in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and download for Windows. Once downloaded, you can click on the installation file and follow the standard installation prompts. Once installed, Visual Studio Code should show up in your start menu. You can click it to load it to make sure that everything has installed correctly. We'll be using Visual Studio Code in a separate video where I walk you through setting up your first HTML web page and uploading to Nova. The second piece of software you're going to need for your class is a file transfer protocol client or FTP client. I highly recommend FileZilla. If you search for FileZilla on the web, you should go straight to the FileZilla website. On Windows, when you click download FileZilla client, it's very important that you click on show additional download options. The reason for that is if you download the standard package, you're more than likely going to get associated freeware applications attached to it that you don't really need. This way you're only getting the core application itself. So go ahead and click on either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version, depending on your operating system. I'm gonna click on the 32-bit version. Once downloaded, you can click on the installer as before. Follow the installation prompts. And again, as before, the application should show up in your start menu and you can select it to verify that it has installed correctly. On the Mac, I already have Visual Studio Code installed, but you can search for it and you'll find that there is a download for Mac as well. I am, however, gonna install FileZilla, which can be found at the same website. And on the Mac, I can just click the regular download. For the options, select the FileZilla to the far left Once downloaded, you can select the installation file. Once extracted, drag and drop into your applications folder. And when you want to run it, you can simply use Spotlight to open FileZilla to confirm that it has in fact installed correctly. I'm gonna click OK to give it permissions. Click OK again. An alternative to FileZilla is an application called Core FTP, which you should be able to find by doing a search on Core FTP. There is a free version for this if you click on the downloads and it's called Core FTP LE and you can download it directly here. FTP client is personal preference. You can use either FileZilla or Core FTP during the course of the semester. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions regarding software needed during the semester in your specific classes, please reach out directly to your professor.